Okay, G vibes. What's up, y'all? The trope, the situation that we in as of right now. And I don't like it. Why don't you like it? Okay, so before we even get into all that, if y'all want to know anything, like, y'all got to subscribe to our channel. But anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. subscribe. Let us know what y'all want to see. Ask us any type of questions, relationship, trucking, food, cooking. Um, y'all want us to do pranks, jokes. No matter what, like whatever it is, just put it in the comments. If y'all are our Facebook friend, inbox us, tell us. But for those of you that don't know, we are with Warner Enterprise right now. Um, background on me, this will be my this is really what, my second year driving. Yeah, you going on two years. So I got two years of experience. Jasmine is at about seven. Eight. eight seven months no eight since february so nine months yeah so it's cool and all we like it money. no we like the money yeah we love the money like i get all that so anybody that's looking to get into this and thinking about going to get your cdl just know like yeah anybody can go get their cdl but whether or not you really want to make the money you want to make it takes you doing a lot of research. If you're going to trade school, it takes you to read your contract, make sure you can leave that contract, make sure it's what, like, just just make sure you got all your I's dotted and T's crossed pretty much. Then two, like, I'm giving y'all an aspect of two years pretty much. What, what I've saw in the last two years. Jasmine pretty much can give the newer people like just going to get your CDL, like what it was like. Yeah. And three, I've had an accident. I still drive. I can tell y'all how I got around it. But this video is not about that. We just gonna mention <laughs> it. But like I said, I had an accident. Jasmine. Ooh, Jasmine may have had an accident too. So, that's two <laughs> people. We team drive. The money is, the money is good. I want to say excellent. I want to say it's the best. Shoot, when I, well, me starting out and saying that much money, like even at my third month, shoot, starting out a person with three months experience, I wasn't supposed to see the money that I made, but I did. But see, that that's one, that's of, that's one of the tricks that I'm finna tell y'all, like, I got two years of experience. If you coming out of school and you lucky enough to find somebody that's willing to team with you straight out of school, you pretty much pick it back off them. Yeah. So even though you don't have that two years of experience, you got that two years of yeah, experience. They, they, pay they me gonna as pay you I as if they got it because you team drive. Um, perks is like just teaming and different stuff. You get bonuses. Y'all can, every every company y'all go to, hopefully y'all don't company hop, but if y'all have to, um, refer each other. That's free money that they not gonna tell y'all about anything. Like, ask them if they got a referral program. We in, we still in the process of receiving bonuses, $500 for this, $500 for that. Um, we got on an account that people really not willing to get on. They gave us a bonus for it. Yep. Um, it's, they gave us a bonus for um, being hired before October was out. Yeah. We, we came in October 31st or October 30th, and they gave us a bonus for that. Right. Like, all in all, y'all, like, by me coming to this company, I don't mind telling y'all, but it, it, this ain't my normal chick, and I ain't gonna give y'all my straight out pay. But just in bonuses, I made $3,000. $3,000 in just bonuses before I ever touched a truck. This is my money already. So that's coming through the door. Um. So y'all probably like, dang, you made all that money? Why y'all hate it? The money don't bring happiness. Just let's just say that. Like at first when we first started together, 
we were happy, we were straight, but now. Yeah, and that that's something like I, I just recently learned, like, the money good, like, I'm thankful for like, even yeah. being able to have my CDL. Because when I tell y'all like, don't think that we just never struggled. Like, please don't think that. Like, yeah, we got parents and all these people that are doing good around us and all types of stuff. But at the same note, we got people that really like look at us and kind of like, they don't say it, but like, they just hope we fail. And I, I, I kind of hate that, but at the same time, like, you just push us to go harder. Yeah, man. like way, way harder. Like we get in these moves, like I get depressed a lot. Jasmine probably don't notice it, but I, I do. And I, I got a real good thing of hiding it. But being able to pull myself out of a hole, like that is strictly because I have my CDL. Like without my CDL, I don't know what I would do. When I had my accident, like I went from up here to like, like scrape down, like nose down, like back to square one. I sat around, I got depressed, I let stuff get behind. I said, forget my credit. I did all types of stuff, like I ain't care. To the point to where I went, to, I went back to one of my old jobs. It took me to go back to an old warehouse job same exact manager, same exact people, and to see like those people like still in the same spot. Ain't nobody moved up. Um, everybody basically like pulling each other down. Nobody, everybody complaining about making money. Don't nobody want to give out raises. Like all types of stuff. But yet at the same time, I'm coming here every single day and I'm blessing my ass. Like, like I'm talking about working hours, like days. Yeah, you be there like, all day. I be there from. 12 in the, sometime 8 in the morning to 2 in the morning. Coming back again at 12 in the morning, working to 2 in the morning, or 12 in the morning, or whatever. And like, it just, it wasn't worth it. All to make five, six, seven hundred dollars. Well, no, I ain't even gonna say 700. I never saw a check 700. And I'm working 60, 70 hours now. Never saw the check for 700. And at that point, we realized, like, dang, we made double that on the truck in one week, and we didn't have to work hard. Right. So now, at this point, y'all, I'm back. I'm back at square one. I came to work one day. I just sat in the car. I was supposed to be on the clock then. Like, I literally just sat in the car. I hadn't talked to Jasmine. I hadn't talked to nobody that day. But, like, that whole day, I was getting dressed, putting on my boots. Like... Going through the motions, like I'm finna go to work and do everything. And like when I got there, like Sunday hit me, like, bro, you ain't going in them day. And like Jamin, know I get these moods where like if I don't like something, like I'll talk to her, I'll tell her, like, all right, it ain't going right. But I'll tough it out for a couple more days. But like if I don't like it, I'm finna go, I'm finna quit. This was kind of like one of those days, but it was different. Like I hadn't talked to Jam. Jamin didn't know nothing wrong. Like I just was going to work and everything was fine. I was doing this. I was doing it. Sonja told me, man, what's going on with my license? What happened is CR England told me I had a legal hold on my license. I can't drive. I can't do anything. I can't go to another company. So I gave up all hope. I'm like, mom, I, I fucked up. My license are gone. I'm screwed. Man, I called around, I did my research, found out I can drive. I can still get accepted into the other places. Yes, there's some stuff I'm gonna probably have to do later on down the line, but I'm taking care of it. But my license is not ruined. When I got accepted, I got back in my, well, I didn't even ever get it out of my car. I crumped my car back up, went right back out that parking lot, <laughs> called Jasmine, and asked her, hey, Jazz, you wanna go back on the road? At the time, she was at Walmart, she hated her job. Well, she didn't hate it, but. It wasn't enough. It wasn't, yeah. No, we waited until the next day for you to ask me that I wanna come with you. No, I asked you after I knew. But I pretty much already knew I was gonna get accepted, but I had to wait for all my paperwork to go through before I brought Jasmine in. And two, y'all, I did that because I know about the referral. So, I got in first. Once they hired me and they told me like, okay, you're good to come. Hey, I got a partner. 
Um, I think she might want to come with me. What's your referral? Oh, we offer fifteen hundred dollars for such and such. Blah, blah. Cool. Say no more. I got a partner. I think she'll qualify for y'all. And I think I want to bring her in with me. Oh, also I want team drive with her. Oh, okay, no problem, Mr. Taylor. That was a free fifteen hundred dollar y'all. So, back to the story. At this point, we both know said to get out of job, y'all. Jasmine had that look on her face right there. <laughs> so we back on the truck. Well, we ain't on the truck yet. We in orientation. Our orientation chick. Orientation, meaning we just sat there pretty much. For three days. Was more than an overtime chick for my regular job. Thank Jasmine, which one was? Sure, um, what I would make in two weeks. I think mine was like 700. Yeah, that's what I would make, it two, what yeah. I would make it in two weeks. But, let me tell y'all, the referral kicked in. Yeah, so he got his first. I got another $500 on top of that $700. I still ain't been in the truck. No truck whatsoever, haven't touched the truck. So like that that just pretty much what happened. Now how we ended up back on the truck. That's why we ended up back on the truck. Away from our family, brothers, and sisters. Like, that's why we made that that jump or that sacrifice or that move. That's the reason why. Now y'all like why y'all hate it? Why what made y'all say y'all don't wanna go back? Well, for one, we're over the road. We're not all over the road. We were like Midwest. Like Midwest, Southern type, kind of. So, along with that, that comes with mountains, that comes with snow, that comes with a lot of trip planning, planning that comes with a whole lot of scripts. Like, a lot of people like, bro, you just drive trucks. All y'all do is drive. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Like, bro, y'all don't understand. Like, we don't get to lay in our bed every night. We can't stop where we want to stop and eat. Like literally is our fleet manager sending us a load. We accept the load. We go pick up the load. We drive for 11, 12, 13, 20 hours or however many hours it is to get there. We drop it. And guess what? Guess what happened again? Our fleet manager sending us another load. All of it. Like, we do that every single day and we're out for a month, month and a half at a time. What makes me hate that, I, I will work. I know that Jasmine will work. I don't mind working. Cause we did it on the target yeah. account. Like we never came wrong while we was on the target account. Never. But for a month out, y'all only gonna give us two or three days home. We got a whole apartment, y'all. Two or three days home. We got multiple brothers and sisters. Like we have a big family. We got Jasmine's side of the family that want to see her. We got my mom's side of the family that want to see us. Or my side of the family that want to see me. Um, we got both our side of the family like pulling us to see each other. Then on top of that, like trying to spend time with each other because we don't been stuck on the truck for so long. Like it's hard. Like it's so so hard. And then like at the same time, we both need our own space. Yeah. We we need time away from each other. And like we don't have that. You can't do that in two or three days. You you just can't. So like I'm at the point where like I just booked the system. Do what you want to do. We're gonna be out for another month. You you gonna make sure we don't come near Georgia or whatever. So it is what it is. That's one reason we hate it. The other reason and, and wait and, and people may say, well y'all y'all done did it before, like no, it's like different. before we was only Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina. We're going we, to Target. We, we uh we had our schedule like clockwork. Yeah. We had time. I know y'all probably said we had time to stop and shop and shower and eat and like have time to maneuver around. Now we have no time to maneuver no no matter how soon we leave and how early we get to our new destination, like so still by the time we get there, we just wanna sleep or just it, it's no time to Let's go right here. Let's go Uber. Go do that. No, it like it's no time in the schedule. Yeah, it's nothing to do that. And then on top of that, like just like it's winter time. Yeah, dealing with snow, dealing with these mountains. Yeah. 
It just being like, playing out cold in these yeah, areas. Like, blend, G, you gotta be careful. Like, dude, this is a whole job out here. Yeah. Y'all, y'all really tripping. Yeah, then headed home. Oh my god, I experienced my first. Mm. I'm gonna say my first real set of mountains. Like we're coming through West Virginia, boy. West Virginia. Seventy nine thousand pounds of Reese's Pieces coming yep. down the mountain. Imagine that, and it's dark. My first time, I was, I was trying to get home because we was headed home, but it's like the mountains like really slowed me down. She did it though. I did it though, but it's she like she did it. That's all that matters it's now. It's like that she did it. But that that's another thing. Like people don't realize that. Like when people just get that shit, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm finna gonna make some money." Like bro, if you stuck over the road and you can't handle this, like you gonna be back at square one. Cause I'm telling you, some of this stuff is not easy. Yeah. Like I'm, I guess I had that, I had that thrill or that thrive for me to actually learn it and do it when I first got my CDL. So like, my trainer just throw me out there. When my trainer came and picked me up, it was. It was like nine o'clock at night. It was dark and it was raining and it was cold already. And we and we I left out of Atlanta, Georgia. So I ran through traffic and he just left me pretty much dry. That's what he told me. He corrected me on a couple of things when he realized that I got it. My train was in the back sleep. I ain't gonna call out no names because I don't want nobody to get in trouble. But that train was in the back sleep. The mountains. The snow, man, we hit all of it. We did it. My first set of mountains, Pennsylvania, i never forget it. Pennsylvania, I had to pull over and tell my train to take it. Cause I, I was scared, I was nervous, and I felt like I had I had two people on my truck. So it was three of us total on the Sierra England truck. I pulled over, I didn't want to hurt nobody. I didn't want, like I just had to, I had to get over it. I think we came back through Pennsylvania again on the way back. Oh, I was gonna get in that driver's seat. I was the one driving. I got through it, realized what I needed to do. Now when I do mountains, Jasmine can tell you, she can be in the back knocked out sleep. Jasmine wouldn't even know that I'm going down yeah, the mountain. Feel she won't feel anything. She won't know nothing like. Which way it gets me because it's like, that was my first time and I had to wake him up around like I'm thinking like man like I was real life scared but I did it but and then he went back and laid down but at the end of he told me like yeah I, I can't go back to sleep because like I was doing it I guess I was too rough with it like using Jake break it was just too loud or whatever and that's why I hate it too it's like because when I'm having trouble sometimes he helped me out it's like I'm interrupting his sleep you don't interrupt me you know but so y'all like, one thing about it is somebody got more experience than you one thing about it i always tell jasmine do not think about this load i don't care if this load 38 days late do not think about this load like pull over if you sleep it pull over and go to sleep call people hey or sleep it they gotta do what they gotta do like it just is what it is man if you scared if you nervous like you're gonna be a little bit scared of nervous but if you if you jerky are you scared of something? Pull over, gather yourself together, and then get back on the road and try it again. If you gotta keep doing that all the way down the mountain, do it. Like, that's just that's just what it's gonna take. Call your fleet manager, I don't care how mad he get, I don't care if he say whatever. He ain't the one out there driving. Like, y'all don't wanna kill nobody, y'all don't wanna hurt nobody, so. And that be my main thing, I do not wanna hurt myself, him, or nobody else, so it's like, ah. Yeah. Uh... I'm telling y'all, this is so gonna, much different than regional. And see, another thing about being over the road, Jasmine probably hadn't even noticed it, but when we go to these fuel stops, when we go to these yard, when we go to these shippers, all types of stuff, like being that Jasmine is there, it's not too many females on the road. So I'm stuck looking at niggas, well, I ain't gonna say niggas, men. <laughs> Basically looking at her like, what's she doing on the road? Uh, damn, how he get how he get her on the road? Uh, maybe they thinking that she a lot lizard. Uh, all types of them. So like, I'm consistently on guard, which is I always been like that. But it's like we're more aware of. Yeah, I'm more aware. Cause like, 
if anything happened, like, it ain't gonna happen to her. I'm gonna make sure it ain't gonna happen to her. But it's just like, um, it's like I'm babysitting, kind of. I hate to say it, I hate to put it that way, but I'm pretty sure she get what I'm saying, but yeah. it's kind of like I'm babysitting all day, all night. It's certain, it's certain spots that I would pull over and park and do, do certain stuff at that I won't do because she's on the truck. And like, it's terrible, but it's not a bad thing. It just made me trip plan better. But you look like we mainly we don't even stop and stay places. Yeah, we don't. You know, like, if you team drive right, thirty minutes and that really it. If y'all team drive, right, if that truck stop, y'all doing it wrong. Yeah. Y'all ain't making no money. Y'all probably making okay money, but y'all ain't using y'all full potential. Yeah, we have our weeks where we like, like when we go back out, we're gonna leave back out tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. When we go back out for this next week, we hunting. So we probably gonna see a decent, decent chick. The next week, we hunting, hunting, hunting. That third week that we got, it's like, all right, yeah, we gonna hunt, but we, we yeah, chilling. We, we storm back down, I'm trying to go back home. But we done humped so much, y'all, to the point that well, our first two checks was so good. And then we still, don't think that that third check gonna be just sorry, mm -hmm. but it just ain't gonna be that first and second check. Which is how we're home now for a whole week. Yeah, like, we can afford it. Like, y'all, get back on that truck. I know for a fact. I probably $3,000 in the hole. That was actual bills, like everyday bills. I was three thousand dollars in the hole. Probably more. I really more than that. I just don't want to put all my business out there. But like I was, I was low. And I ain't saying this to make nobody hate, uh, or like to brag or nothing like that. But I'm just saying this to show, life, like, man. bro, this was real. Like we had to go through this. But yeah, still walking out the highlight like, ain't nothing wrong. Like, no, like just just still living. Like, yeah, I'm still enjoying life. Like, which is what he does better than me. Cause me, I be like, man, ain't going nowhere. I don't want to talk to nobody. Man. I just need to gather my thoughts. See, versus me, I'm gonna get out the house. I'm gonna talk. Like, I might just be chilling. But you go to saying something about work. You go to saying something about money. Oh, my ears wide open. Jamming, no, we get these truck stop, these truck drivers. If I see they cool and they go to talking to us, sometimes I have Jag, Jag be the one to lure them in. Then all of a sudden, I might pop out the back. Hey, they said what? <laughs> Y'all didn't know he was bad though, huh? Like, and then I go to ask some questions. Like, we met, we don't met on the operators. We don't met people who want us on, like, there. They want us with them because they see how we drive, like, just, after, just out of our personality and meeting us. Like, we 20, I'm 25, Jamie, 24. Like, that's, that's rare on the road. To be able to actually survive each other, y'all push each other to make money, and like, just, just doing it. Like, bro, y'all don't understand how major that is. And like, I give Jamie, I give Jamie that, like, everybody can't do that at all. Like, some people can't even stand, can't even stay in a house with each other. Better yet, a truck. But I probably been running on and on, but I just wanted to get that off. So, plans? Plan is. We said one more month of doing this. One more month, finish out one. December. A lot of people are like, what y'all gonna do? And we'll see when January gets here. Yeah. I don't wanna speak on it too much because that's like that's how you block your blessings, but I just know like this isn't how we supposed to be living right now. Like not liking something and only doing it for the money. Yeah. Like no. Like this isn't this isn't living. Like money you do not only live for money, like it doesn't make you happy. So I know at the end, we're gonna 
it's gonna be something else bigger and, and greater and something that makes both of us happy and still pay the bills too so this me, will be praying on me on the other hand i don't mind driving i like driving but I don't plan on driving for nobody for for long at all. I'm giving myself this this year. I'm dedicating myself strictly to maintaining, and by the end of the year, I will have my own truck company. Like my mind made up on that. The end of 2021. Yes. And like. That it sound a lot of people make it look easy, a lot of people make it sound easy. That ain't easy, man. I salute anybody that actually done did that and like got their own. Whether it's an old 1992 truck, I don't care what kind of truck it is or nothing. Like, bro, it's a lot that go into that. These trucks are not cheap. This insurance is not cheap. This diesel is not cheap. Like, it's a lot that go into it. But with or without anybody, that's what I'm doing. And shoot, I really, I already know start that process. I'm doing what I need to do now. And that kind of goes along with other stuff that me and Jay been trying to do also. So it's a win-win. But yeah, y'all, so that was our spiel on how we're liking what we're doing now, and what we're gonna do in the future. Yeah. That's part of the reason we don't upload often. Yeah, now, like we don't have time. It's not even about us not having time. We don't like it. Yeah, we're really not enjoying I don't ourselves. Want, I don't want to put that type of content out. Like, yeah. Well, I'm forcing, I'd be lying to y'all if I said we liked it. Yeah. And plus, I, I want people to actually come in and know exactly like the situation that you could run into. And, I, and some people like on the road. Like, I ain't put, uh, like, yeah, some, some people, people love, love it. it. But, this this just isn't something that's making us happy yeah. right now. So. I like my family a lot more. I really yeah. be home. I would be home and go slave. Like I wouldn't say slave because we did that, but like I would be be home enjoying ourselves and still making decent money. Like that's the goal. We got a lot going on. Just just know like this channel. I want my own truck. I want my own. I want to work for myself. I want to be in a position where I can put other family members or anybody else on. I want to be comfortable. We want to be comfortable. So, that's what we're working towards. Yep. So, y'all, with that being said, thank y'all for watching. Um, Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. You know, comment. Tell us y'all um, thoughts. On this yep. video or whatever. Thoughts, opinions. Share it, please. Please yeah. share it. And Tierra, I know you looking. Share <laughs> it. Come on, I got you. I got you, bro. I promise I got you, but I talk about you, but boy, boy, we love you. I got you. But Tell yeah. Cody to share it with your look. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for watching. And we'll see y'all later. Yup.